Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, this has been an interesting morning. Wow. The show's called Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, now it's late in the day. It's about four o'clock on Saturday. It's Mike Matthews singing to you like I always do at the beginning of every show. I do this thing for you and I sing. And you know, I like to sing because when I sing, I feel good and I dance around like a little bitty thing that's made out of glue. <sighs> Don't sniff glue, kids. That's wrong. Okay, I just got Mike's daily podcast a little sidetrack there kids don't sniff anything unless it's a rose because they're pretty Mike's and they're full of daily the stuff in them podcast that makes you happy yeah and gives you allergies I don't know I don't I'm not an expert in this field not an expert I'm a little bit goofy I understand but there's lots to get to on today's show Remember last podcast how I was discussing how I do not condone conspiracy theorists? And now, and I have known a lot of very sane and smart Republicans. But now I'm hearing them venture off into this weird la-la land that I do not like. I do not think it's healthy. And I don't know what's going on. And I work for a company that employs a lot of conservative talk show hosts that are heard around the country, that are quite popular, that have a huge fan base. Yet, I don't think this is wise. I know that their big hero, Donald J. Trump, has, as of this recording, lost the president-elect has been nominated by the AP. They have said, they have stated that he is now the president or to be. And yet Donald Trump is like, nope, shenanigans, shenanigans. Wasn't there a South Park episode where the kids scream out, shenanigans, shenanigans. And here's today's podcast picture. Life has become a South Park episode, everyone. And I'm hearing these brilliant people that support him, that have PhDs to their names and such Saying oh yeah he's right Oh whatever he says Whatever he says do you really And yet I have also known Trump supporters that say yeah, I don't agree with his tweets I wish he would stop tweeting But I support the president Well yeah but I mean There is a fevered mind here We've entered a fevered mind here A damaged ego Basil's telling it to you straight go ahead Basil Continue Uh huh Exactly. Right. And I know of smart people that are Republicans. Smart people that are conservative. I know fiscal conservatives. I know people that believe we should adhere to more moral social values. Conservative social values. Okay, that's fine. I believe, I believe some of that is all right. I, some of it. But when you are supporting a movement that is wrong, that you are telling the state of Georgia that you can't count votes right, and yet that state is run by Republicans. You are saying to them, and the guy, I forget who it was, the, 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 uh, the governor, maybe? I listen, you know, when I'm listening to the news, I'm driving to work, and I've got to watch out because I'm driving up Mission Street in Hayward. And there are the worst drivers in the Bay In the Bay Area There are the worst drivers in the world They drive in the Bay Area So I gotta be careful And I don't always catch everything And I'm a little bit like your dumb uncle Like that skit from Saturday Night Live That the wonderful uh, What's his name? Monahan does Uh, Pat Monahan? John Man? No Pat Monahan is the guy from the train and those drops of Jupiter in my yeah 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 yeah. That was their biggest song. Drops of Jupiter. No, or was it Hey Soul Sister? I digress. I'm Mike Matthews. So what I would strongly suggest to talk show hosts that are on the conservative side to is if you are on the conservative side is to begin. To pivot Realize You on the Senate 
You almost got the house. You did really well in the house. Your president did not win. This may be the dawning of the age of presidents that only serve one term. Biden may not last <laughs> health wise. Let's be serious. He's going to be in his 80s by the end of this term. And he's. He, I went to the doctor yesterday. Let's just say it's tough. It's tough for an wh- old white guy these days. There's lots of things causing us to die stress, bad food, too much salt. Uh, are we eating too much garlic as a nation? No, wait, that's a Lewis Black joke. Um, cafe, um, I mean, cafe anyway. Uh, white cracks Black don't crack I think that's what my girlfriend said she, <laughs> She's Puerto Rican She said to me That Well she's She's happy about the whole thing But here's the deal Is that you've got Biden Will he survive to 2024 is the question Will come Will come And listen I know some of you like to say Kamala And maybe it is Kamala But I heard her say In an interview That it's like saying The little punctuation mark Comma And then la So it's comma La That's what I heard Her say So For all you people That like to correct Mike Matthews Which I appreciate But you can always correct me At 336mm daily 3 plus 3 equals 6mm As Mike Matthews Daily as in what this podcast Tries to be I wanted to bring you one Yesterday Things got crazy at work but at work, I hear a lot of conservative talk show hosts And I am, I am begging them, I am imploring them um, Start to pivot Start to realize that, you know, you gotta do the post-mortem On this election And it's time to do the post-mortem on the polls And f- figure out what the heck happened As we go outside a cafe anyway We're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley Ton today Yes It's time to see what you have And move forward Trump is done He did his four years He's going to spend all of his money And the campaign I heard this today His campaign is asking for donations Because they need the donations To keep fighting the law And fighting the states That said that God forbid Joe Biden won You can't say that Now you are Now you are enabling a sore loser Is what I want to say To the conservative talk show host You are enabling a sore loser You are endorsing a sore loser mentality Okay We all realized Those of us that were Hillary Clinton supporters Four years ago That when she lost The electoral vote The electoral college vote It was done Move on Yes, a lot of Hillary Clinton supporters said under their breath But we won the popular vote Yeah, okay, but she didn't win You have that That's, your, that's what you're going to do That's your go-to from now on To make you feel better We all do that, right? When we lose And I've lost a lot in my life I've lost many times I've, always, I've come in second place so many times It's crazy And I've got the ribbons to prove it Because I'm one of those children You did okay, Mikey you get a ribbon Because you came in 10th place Hey I appreciate those ribbons too I appreciate anything But here's the thing When you lose You do the post-mortem You figure out what Let's let's sit in the, in the back there With our little movie projector And go over the plays And am I referencing some football movie From the 80s maybe I don't know Cafe I don't know Cafe anyway But you, you go over it You figure out what you did wrong And what you can do right in the future Maybe you should be less against mail-in ballots You know what? Because you know what? It's here to stay Just like these things that I'm waving around here These smartphones Someday we'll be voting on these guys Yes, on smartphones We will be voting on those someday So welcome to the 21st century Get with it Instead of having a paranoid Narcissist running things Let's Move Let's let's actually use our brains Let's get rid of it Because the the whole ego thing blocks Intelligence Right? Intelligent thinking 
that's what we want to be as a nation is intelligent and you can slam Silicon Valley all you want but there are smart smart people there that are coming up with these things like the smartphone like this thing I'm actually recording myself on now am I oh I took a picture I didn't see that's how stupid I am because I have an ego I'm now doing a video of myself hi everybody hey we're getting a little bit political on today's show but don't don't get mad at me. I'm just trying to look at this rationally. Historically, I've lived through ooh, several elections now in my life. You can see by the bald head, there was hair there the first time I voted. So we're just kind of looking at things, kind of taking it out bit by bit. And let's all listen to each other and try and find the facts here is all I'm saying. And thank you for listening to Mike's Daily Podcast. So, my point is... <laughs> where did I go? I veered off again. Well, you get my drift. But you can disagree and scream at me and say, Mike, it was all sham. It was all set up. Everybody hates Trump. Everybody hates him. That's the problem. That's where you start. You start from there. And then you'll... You'll always win your argument, so good for you. You'll always win your argument. You'll always, everyone will say, okay, I heard somebody say, I listen to a lot of t conservative talk show, radio stuff, conservative radio. I heard this one guy say, we just came out of an election where Donald Trump, he won by the largest amount ever by any president ever. And I went, whoa! And this guy said that defiantly, and he believed every single word he said. And I'm thinking, you have not, and this is somebody who does not trust, you can tell, this is someone who does not trust media, any media. The only media he was listening to was that conservative radio station that he, that I, I actually work for. So maybe this is why. These conservative talk show hosts are saying that because they have people that believe this and want to believe this and want to live in this river called denial and keep floating in this river on our little intertubes with our little keg floating along next to us. Actually, I've never done that. I heard they do. I hear they do that at Chico all the time and I've never done this. I want to do it. And it just happened. Oh, but Mike. Yes, I will agree. The Georgia election is very close. That is interesting. And you know what? They should recount. You know what recounts always prove? Maybe five votes were all, ended up being in your favor. Five. That's it. There ain't going to be... How many does that have to be? 6,000 or more? Ain't going to be that much. But whatever. That's fine. Cafe whatever. They can do that as much as they want. I'm just saying, come on. At some point, you have to acknowledge reality. And you, you have to watch and listen to as much media as you can and realize that it ain't all in lockstep. I've worked in radio most of my life, started at 17, and I've seen a, a lot of, I've worked for a lot of conservative bosses, a lot of liberal bosses in radio and I, I will say there are a lot of liberals, a lot of liberals in the media world. But it ain't like the way Dennis Prager says, where it's just this seething mass that wants to undermine everything, and they're there in the shadows lurking. And that's what, and he, he's got a huge listenership because people believe what he says. And he seems like a really nice guy. In fact, he sounds like someone I know. I might have met him once because I, I grew up down there in the Santa Monica, L.A. area. And, uh, who knows? I may have run into him at one point. But he, he seems, and that's why he's got a big listenership. But you can't be a conspiracy theorist. You cannot. And there's a guy named Michael Medved, and I've, I've quoted him before on this show. And that guy loves to shoot down conspiracy theorists. And he's a conservative talk show host. And I don't always agree with what he says. But he's a smart man. And he, he will attack when people go, oh, Hillary Clinton is eating babies right now. He will say, no, stop that. It, it just set people straight. But if you want to believe that, please just keep uh, quarantining yourself. And please don't mingle with the rest of us. Because you're going to... 
You ain't gonna be good for this country if you act like that. Okay, enough of that. I'm just saying beware of the fevered mind and beware of apologizing for people you shouldn't be apologizing for. At some point, those of us that supported Bill Clinton went, okay, this guy's got some issues. (laughs) He uh, probably should not have done that thing that he did. It's just from a point of view as someone who, you know, I was faithful when I was married. I am not married any longer. And that guy is still married. That's kind of odd. But there are some questions there. You may not agree. And I, heck, politicians, let's be honest, the bulk of them do have ego. I'm sure Biden does. There's lots to back that up. But come on. They had the one story, the Hunter Biden story. And then you've got Trump with all of his little Hunter Bidens. That whole family And like it was the comparing Like I said Calling the pot black much That is an odd expression isn't it The pot calling the kettle black Wait the kettle The kettle meets the pot and goes Hey pot what's going on And the pot says I don't know Do you have a bunch of kids That are siphoning money out of foreign countries I don't know maybe I am Maybe I'm not Maybe I go out shooting with my best buddy uh, Donald Jr. Okay, let's just look ahead because I know we like to look to the future. And okay, I am hoping the best health for our new president. Um, for both of the guys, the, the, the future ex-president and the future new president. And I wish all the best for comma law and uh, for um, Mike Pence. And he will be running, I am sure of it, in 2024. This may come back to haunt me because I'm Lindsey Graham. But it could it could come back. He he will probably run, I would imagine. But then there's going to be Trump's kids running. Some someone in his family is going to run. You know that. And then if Biden decides to step down in 2024, I've heard that mentioned. I heard it mentioned by a fevered mind conservative talk show host, conspiracy theorist. Who knows? Maybe that'll happen. We'll see. But uh, God bless America and God bless all of us for that. At least if you participated in this election, you have a voice and let's listen to each other. Let's disagree and let's not disagree online. Let's do it face to face, not Facebook to Facebook. Let's do actual face talking, FaceTime, acknowledging each other as people, as human beings that have thought. And I got to call my mom, who's an avid Trump fan, find out <laughs> what, what conspiracy theory she's holding on to. But we'll see. We'll find out. I'll check in with you about that. Because that's the fun stuff of Mike's Daily Podcast with the fun people that he talks to. It's episode 2148. We're outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valleyton. So glad I was able to do this show today because I have had so much going on in my mind. I was about to explode. Look who's here. Hello, my friends. You're yelling too hard to get the supervisor. Why am I here? Because you were going to tell us about the snow globes you're selling in the gift shop. That's right, my Matthews. We have all kinds of snow globes. And we have pumpkin globes, too. Pumpkin globes, just in time for Halloween. Oh, that passed. Yes, but Mike Matthews, it's pumpkin time. It is. And in fact, if you've decorated your house with Halloween decorations... You can keep those decorations up. Just take the skeleton away. Just remove the skeleton and the icky, scary zombies and witches and stuff. Just get rid of that. Just leave the pumpkins. You're fine. You're fine until Christmas. Then you got to start putting out the holiday lights, the Christmas lights. Oh, but I am seeing Halloween lights more and more this year. So that's those are kind of nice. So you go from an orange, orange white to a red and green, and then silver bells and. It's Christmas time in the city. Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floorman. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Mike, it's good not to be a conspiracy theorist. (laughs) Yes. Let's try not to deal in conspiracy, everybody. Oh, what's the podcast picture? We didn't even get to that. Oh, a beautiful sunset on that mega super long hike I did with my lovely lady friend last weekend. Let's go to that picture now And you can see it at MikeStaleyPodcast.com Okay 
sounds good. Uh, and there are all the podcast pictures there at mikesdailypodcast.com. I take a lot of pictures. What's wrong with me? Next show, it'll be the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. I am so, so going to try so hard to bring you a Sunday show. Let's see if we can do that. I believe Sunday is going to be trying to wake up (laughs) and trying to get with it. This time of year when it's cold and chilly, it's hard to get up, isn't it? It's like so, like, I don't want to get up. Mike, don't make me get up. But you should get up and listen to my show that you hear at kkdv.com. There is a 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. music show that you can hear. So check that out. And details at mikesdailypodcast.com. Take it away, A-Frame. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Modesty.